my dog Jake. My name is Brittany, and I'd like to say, is it Fan Friday, Jake? It's Fan Friday. It's time for Fan Friday! We're doing it outside, even though I think Oakley's gonna stay right there by the door the whole time. Are you gonna stay by the door the whole time, silly girl? I is Levy from Instagram says, Are Huskies worth getting? I'm assuming you've seen at least a few of our over 650 videos on our channel and I'm assuming you've watched some of our vlog videos from youtube.com slash without the snow dogs and seen how happy we are with our dogs. So I would say yes. I mean yeah they're a lot of work but lots of things in life are a lot of work. You don't just give up because it's hard work. Yeah you don't just give up because it's hard work. Do you Shelby? Say, no way man. Official Macy Greer says, do you have tips for potty training a puppy? Actually, we do. When we were potty training Memphis over there, we did two videos. One on crate training and one on potty training. I'll put a link on the video here and I'll put another link down in the video description to both of those videos. They should help you out immensely. Living with Lexi says, how do you get a husky puppy to stop excited peeing every time somebody comes over? Um, Memphis actually did that for probably the first month we had her and then she grew out of it. Sometimes they will grow out of it. Sometimes it may be something you want to talk to your vet about. Uh, it just, it really depends. If they don't grow out of it after a few months, I would definitely talk to your vet and see if there's anything they can do. I can't believe Memphis is standing still for that long. Uh, another question about Memphis, and since she's still standing still, <laughs> Tara wants to know if Memphis is going to be doing agility. Oh, there was a bird out there she was watching. Now I see what you were doing. Um, actually, we were thinking about doing agility with her. She still has to learn the uh, recall command a little bit better and the stay command before we actually take her to classes. But the next round of agility classes, we may take her. We'll see. Shelby's pretty good at it. If they offer an advanced class again, I'd probably take her just for a refresher. Not Oakley, though. We don't have to make her jump over stuff. <laughs> Alex Birch one says, I might be getting a husky for my birthday, but my dad says we don't have enough space. All three of our floors are a bit full. So my dad wants me to ask you, do they need a lot of space? Well, they need space for playing, you know, but that's mostly an outside thing. As for inside, honestly, all three of my girls usually hang out right in the living room with me all day. So do they need a lot of space in the house? Not necessarily if they get a lot of exercise outside, but you need to make sure they're getting a lot of exercise outside. Chelsea Lane says, when taking my husky to the dog park, we always have to keep him on a leash because he looks like he could always become very aggressive. Mm. Oh, big stretch from Oakley. Um, I'm having a lot of trouble telling the difference between aggressive or just sniffing other dogs. He really needs to be socialized, but I'm scared he's going to hurt someone or another dog. First thing, if you're at an off-leash dog park and your dog is the only one on a leash, that can entice some aggressive tendencies because your dog feels trapped. Secondly, if you're afraid that your dog's going to attack somebody, your dog can sense the fact that you're feeling that and that may also be triggering them to act that way. Third thing, you may want to contact a trainer for some help. Memphis is watching for birds. Um, because it sounds like you could use some one-on-one -on -one help with learning the signs of what your dog is showing. So I would maybe look for a trainer in your area, see if you can find one to help you out, kind of help teach you the differences between aggressive behavior and non-aggressive behavior. I hope that helps. Hi Shelby. Dog Lover 0 says, do you have any idea on how to remove ticks? Actually, if you go back and watch Wednesday's video, which I don't think hit most of your subscription boxes, um, we got a tick twister in that video and it kind of shows you how to use it to remove t ticks. That's actually what we use. Before that we used to use tweezers and just grab them and pull. We, did, we don't deal with them very often but the few times we have that was what we used to do. Gritty Love says, I have a one year old husky and we walk a lot but an hour after we walk and he's rested he starts to play again. Do you think I should get another dog so his energy will slow him down? <laughs> um, sometimes that helps. At one years old, you need to be walking that dog a lot to get them to uh, calm down. Running would be a better option, like running using the springer with the bike or jogging and just going after another bird. Or jogging um, could definitely be another option. But a one year old husky has a ton of energy. Notice Memphis is a year old. She's stalking every bird that comes into the yard. Shelby is six years old and she could care less about the birds in the yard. There goes Memphis again. Another bird just flew by. Did you catch that one? 
I don't think he did. And then here's Oakley, standing here watching the birds. But Memphis, with the most energy, is going to chase them, including the shadows. If you're wondering where the birds are coming from, well, we have a nest up there. Yeah, there's a nest right there, and most of you guys know I'm not a big fan of birds. They kind of creep me out. And then there is a nest in the back garage right in the overhang there. The dove that we've had every year since we moved here is back. So Memphis is antagonizing the birds. YouTube user Dan K. Sharp, which if you guys haven't gone and checked him out yet, you totally should, wants to know, when are you coming to Holland, Michigan to do a collab video with Dan Sharp? Hopefully soon, Dan. Hopefully soon. I'd like to find a place to come camping down there near you. <laughs> Speaking of camping, Brian wants to know, have you ever been camping west of Lake Michigan, like in Illinois or Wisconsin? I've heard there's great campgrounds over there, like Starved Rock in Illinois. Good hiking there as well. We're always looking for fun new places to take the girls camping and hiking. We definitely like it. You want, you want to go hiking or do you want to go camping? Camping or hiking? Which one are you, are you responding to both? You want to go camping and hiking? Awesome. <laughs> We're always looking for fun new places to go. We have not camped anywhere outside on that side of Lake Michigan. Uh, we did recently go down to Ohio. Um, and I'm not sure where we're going to go for Labor Day weekend this year, but I have a feeling we're going to go up to the Porcupine Mountains in the UP and take the girls hiking up there again. We'll see. Sam asked, and a couple other people asked a lot of questions very similar to this that, uh, today. I'm wanting to get a husky. Is it true that they are high maintenance, that they are a high maintenance dog and that they always try to escape? Yes, they are a very high energy, high maintenance breed. Um, they, as you can see, look, Memphis is still chasing the birds. They are notorious escape artists. They love to try to figure out any type of challenge they can. So when it comes to like trying to get out of a fence, you'll notice our fence has rocks all along the bottom of the fence. That's because the dogs tend to dig. Even though if they got into that yard, they'd only be in the neighbor's yard. <laughs> Same thing with over here, they'd only be in the neighbor's yard. But they do like to try to figure things out. They're a very smart breed and a very stubborn breed, which makes them kind of interesting to deal with. They'll figure out how to get up on kitchen counters or on tables and over fences. They just need a lot of exercise because they're so high energy and so stinking smart. Did you catch anything yet, Memphis? Did you catch anything? A frog? A bug? Nothing? Keep trying, baby. Nikolai says, My partner and I really love to hike and go camping. We're going to be getting a husky puppy in July. How old do you think the husky should be before you take them out? Awesome breed for you to get if you're a big fan of hiking and camping because these dogs can keep up with you just about anywhere you go. When it comes to taking them out, you really don't want to have them go anywhere until they have all of their shots. Uh, like with Memphis, we didn't really take her out anywhere in public till she was 12 weeks old. As for camping and things like that, Shelby went camping for the first time when she was eight weeks old. It was in our family's backyard. No, I lied. She was 10 weeks old, I believe. Um, it was in our family's backyard, so it technically wasn't in public, but we did camp in the camper. Um, so really, you just want to make sure that they have all their shots before you really take them out into public, but you'd be surprised how much a little puppy can do in uh, camping. I don't know how old Memphis was when we first took her camping. We went and she was born in April and we went in August, so... Just a couple, four months, four and a half months old was the first time she went camping. Something like that. Yeah, pretty much. As soon as they start walking, you can take them hiking. <laughs> you might have to carry them sometimes, though. We got some mail. We got some mail. What do you think, Oakley? It's a little dark in here, but we're going to do the mail anyway. We got a letter from D, May, K, Cosmo, Casper, Demon, and Bobo. And it says, tell Shelby her eyes are very, 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 very blue. Shelby, where are you? Your eyes are very blue. Not you, you have brown eyes. Your eyes are very blue too. And we got a letter from Dog Gone Cute on Instagram with a photo of their dogs. And they want to know, how did you get that website? If you guys haven't checked it out yet, our website has finally been updated. It's gone to the snowdogs.com or gttsd.com. And how did we get the website? Jamie made it. We used WordPress and he pretty much did all the layout and all the fun stuff. And we both update it from time to time. So Memphis's story is finally on there. Since you guys have been asking for that for forever, so you have to go check it out. And we got a letter from Jacqueline, and Jacqueline wants to know whose birthday is coming up next. Actually, it's Shelby's. Shelby's birthday is August the 8th, and she will be seven years old. And another question Jacqueline had was, how do you get your dogs to not be mean to other dogs? Um, I don't really know. They never really have been mean to other dogs. I don't know what we did to make it that way. Huskies usually are generally are pretty nice dogs. You guys look like you're being pretty mean right now, but they're really just playing. 
What are you doing? You can't chew on her. All right, you get her. I'll hold her. Arr, 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 arr. <laughs> All right, you guys, that's all we have for Fan Friday today. We got a whole bunch of questions, a lot of good ones that I just didn't get time to answer. Don't forget when we post next week to leave your question. Hopefully we'll get to some more questions next week. I keep considering doing more than one Fan Friday or doing like another question video of the week because we get so many awesome questions from you guys. So if we didn't get to your question, I'm sorry. Uh, you can always try again next week. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. If you didn't see it, we put up a video on Wednesday that I, that I don't think hit everybody's subscription box. Somebody was saying the boxes were broken. They didn't get the notification of the Wednesday video. It is there. So you can just go to our channel page or go down in the video description and I'll have a link to it or click the previous button up at the top. Go check out Wednesday's video. Uh, we also uploaded some more camping videos on youtube.com slash without the snow dogs and a few will be going up here next week. So anyway, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, stay positive, dream big, and we'll see you soon. Shelby Key, say goodbye. Say bye. Bye. I think that bird wants back in her nest, so we're gonna go in. Goodbye.